he does not break parallel. But he locks out on top, it's still not a rep. If he breaks parallel and does not lock out on top, it's not a rep, okay? If you decide you wanna drop the bar before you lock it out, it's not a rep. There's no dropping from the top on your last rep. There's a competition, Manny's gonna be working out right there. I'm gonna be right here doing thrusters and kettlebells next to him. So as soon as you're done, bring it back down to the ground, okay? Second thing, your judge screams at you, no rep. Don't waste the time not knowing. Say, what did I do? Or, or ask him to scream out, no rep, break parallel, you know? Talk to your judge beforehand, be like, judge, you know, my squats are iffy. If I'm getting close or if it's a no rep, tell me it's below parallel. That way you're not guessing. Talk to your judge before. Is it my arms, is it my legs, whatever you gotta do. If it's this way, it's a no rep. If you want to throw it behind you, that's up to you, but don't hurt yourself. Don't Just, do that. Don't, it's not good, because then you're going to dump it behind you somewhere. Pull up, however you want to come down, whether you want to swing, whether you want to pull, that's fine. A no rep, obviously, is not coming to full extension all the way on top. So if you have it here, if you have it here, it's not a, no, it's not a rep. But as long as you clear your ears, it's a rep. Whether you want to power it, or you want to squat it, or it's your it, choice. Whatever you want okay? to do. Biggest thing is, bar goes from ground to overhead, one movement, okay? If you land in the dip and you squat it out, that's fine. Make sure you stand up every single rep. That's what we want to see. Now, when you're here, hold it. It's only one lift. Hold it for a split second so I know you have control and you're good. But if you get it and dump it and you don't show control of that bar, no rep. No rep. Come up, jump and clap, overhead. over your head. Okay, if I'm in a competition and I'm clapping here, it's a no rep. They literally want you to expose the ears, come to full extension. All right, and you're exaggerating. Not behind your head, work. not behind your this. head with your chest down. Nope. Stand up, nope. I want you to look like a pencil when you stand up. <laughs> Straight up. No, don't cheat on your burpees. Everybody's gonna be lined up out here. You're gonna have your judge right next to you. Okay? Don't lift without your judge. Bianca's gonna be lined up. And Nyalisi will be right behind her. Three, two, one, go. The first girl will go up to the first bar, all right? She knocks it out. What is it, 35 pounds? All right? You knock out your first snatch. Great. Now you're going to rest if you have, you have two attempts. If you get it on your first one, you're going to rest for the remaining time, okay? Once that minute is up, we're going to tell everyone, rotate. You Three, go up two, to the one, next bar. Nyalisi comes up with her judge. You knock out your rep. If you get it, now you rest for the remaining time. Everybody moves up. Now you're gonna go to this side, right? And it goes getting heavier every single one. Now let's say you got the first one, but your second attempt, you failed. Now, in that remaining time, you're doing max amount of burpees, okay? Whether it's 30 seconds of burpees, whether it's 45 seconds of burpees, or if you get to this weight and you know you cannot absolutely do it at all, and you've never hit it, and it's so much of a jump that you know you can't, you make that decision whether you wanna attempt it or you just want to crush as many burpees as you can do in that entire minute. Obviously, the more time for burpees, the more burpees you're going to get. Overall, what's going to outweigh on the score is the lift itself. You failed. You're not going to do your burpees at your bar. Oh, yeah. You're going to jump out. Okay, there's going to be a taped area. You do five burpees here, you got zero burpees. When you move, then your coach is going to, or your judge is going to count your burpees. Now, what Manny was saying about that extra minute, say I'm going to go up to that 100 pounds and I know I can't lift it, I want you to at least deadlift it. I want to see you come up to that bar, three, two, one, switch, and then go. Nice try. Okay? Deadlift it. Let's call it attempt. I have two attempts, okay? You can either fail once and do burpees, or you can fail twice and then do your burpees. Or you can just get it on your very first lift. About, uh, are we going to have a grace period of five, 10, 15 seconds to move from one bar to another? No. It takes you two seconds to move up to the next bar, okay? It's not going to be an issue. Once you're in the blue area, and you're done your burpees, you walk out and go drink some greenery. One, three. We changed it from a 10 minute cap to a 12 minute cap. 10 pull ups or 10 knee, ra 10 knee raises. By knee raises, we mean normally we do knee to elbows, but some people have flexibility issues or they can't get all the way up. And I want people to try to do the movement. All you gotta do really is break that plane. Okay? Now, here, over that 90 degree angle. You know how you're standing on the bar, you have a plane right here, right? Your knee, your ankle has to pass. So I don't want this. Okay? Mm -hmm. I want full extension. It means you're opening up the hip. Your leg is breaking the plane of the bar next to you. And then you're coming up and breaking the crease of the hip. 10 squat cleans. Give me a good rep. Thumbs up. All the way down. Make sure you break parallel. Hold it at the bottom real quick. That is breaking parallel. Your third rep in or fourth rep in, you do not touch the floor with the bar. 
but you still break parallel, it's a no rep. If you break or if you touch the floor and now you do not break parallel, it is a no rep. You can power clean the bar. Yeah. It's gonna take you longer. And then you can front squat it. I do not suggest this. It is still a squat clean. Why? Because you're still powering the bar up and you're still squatting it up. I wanna see squat cleans if I know you're capable of squat clean. Bumper plate lunges. I see sometimes you guys do lunges, or the ladies, or the guys, and this is what I get. Does that look good? No. I would suggest having your arms locked. Why? Because if you're bent, all this is active. Your arms are going to get tired. Your shoulders are going to get tired. Hold it. Your shoulders are going to get tired. Now when you come back to your pull-up bar, your arms are going to be fried. You're working harder, trying to hold this bar up. Bent. Lock it up. If you're locked out, you're not really using your arms. You're saving it. It's all back, it's all scapula, it's all shoulders. This right here won't be as fried. The minute the plate touches your head, you're stopping at that point, getting it back overhead. Okay? Or bend, that's fine. We don't want it resting on your head, we don't want it resting on your shoulder, we don't want it resting on your back. An angle. That you want straight. space here. Lunge, tap. Oh, okay. Ow. If, you want to tap. if you want to tap and not put your heel down, I'm okay with this. Okay? The people that are on this first wood are gonna be on the closer, on the farther cage doing their pull-ups or their knee raises, okay? If your your bar is on the second wood, you're on the closer pull-up cage. If you see this red person, and things are gonna get numbered. She's, yeah, gonna everything's go. gonna be numbered. This person's gonna start on the outside of the cage and they're gonna have to come to that first one. This person's starting on the inside of the cage and they're going to the farther one. Now when you get to your bumper plate, so you do your do your stuff, do your stuff, this is gonna be lined up. You're starting from behind the wood. This is the That's last your starting wood line. By the the third wood. That's your starting and your ending line. Both feet must be on the other side of the wood. Your feet have to pass the line. Okay, both feet pass the line. And when you lunge back, both feet pass that line. Pass the wood. And you do your last one here, and both feet come here. Give me another one. I want you to pass the wood. Every rep that you didn't get, including one and two, is one second added to your score. So if you, if you completed right. your 10 here of your third round, you didn't get to the squat cleans, your time is 12, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12. I would suggest doing it after wad one and wad two. Why? Your heart's already pumping, you just worked out, you're ready to go, you're sweating, you're in the moment of working out. Rest five, 10 minutes, go knock out a floater. Or two, if you feel good. You're gonna notice when the floaters come out, it's very doable. Let's say scaled girls, if you go, then you have heat two, heat three, heat four, and a 30 minute intermission. That's enough time to recover and do one, maybe even two of the floaters. And the, the 30 minute intermission yeah. for um, setup two and 20 minute okay. is not going to change. That will be 30 minutes and that will be 20 minutes.